Hello there, Cancer, and welcome into my channel. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I do hope you're well. Gonna get some messages for you. It is Sunday, August 29, 2021. Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups. So I see someone going, oh, someone going toward another person to make an offer. Could be business related. For some, it's love. What is the devil energy? Swords. I feel a viper, a scorpion, something that might sting you. Something that might backbite you, betray you. The Hierophant. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Cancer. We have the Magician card here. Something on hold, postponed. What is the Magician energy? What's going on in Cancer's energy with the Magician? Hmm. What is the Page of Cups? What the, these are some powerful cards. Okay, so uh, I just feel like someone is is the energy feels like <laughs> no, I really have to laugh. The energy feels like someone is in their laboratory working some potions and some oh let me take time let me let me quiet down a bit so the energy it feels like someone is in their their laboratory mixing potions and creating a storm i'm hearing thunder and lightning clapping as this person is in their little dark dungeon working and guess what they're working on, on? remanifesting you it's so funny. It looks kind of creepy. I'm telling you, this person is cooking up some sauce to f figure out how to come back to you. Oh, let me tell you, they want they want it to be. They want you to. They want you to be. They want it to be easy. They, you, they, oh, let me get it. They want you to your heart to be easy on them. So it could be kind of a love potion. We see the cups energy here, and then we see the lovers card. This person is focusing on manifesting you who is their desire right now. It's powerful. This person is working, I feel, as we speak. If, there's an, if this person goes out to work, they could come in, take off their jacket and head straight into the little basement. I don't know what it is. This could be a, per, a person um, reading their Bible or chanting chants or hoping, praying because... I did see the four of swords energy here. So someone is praying, wishing, just holding it in their energy too. Look, and it's taking a lot of power to do this, to re-manifest you. They want, it's something, it's a potion. So maybe they are, they're going to offer you something, but it's supposed to soften your heart towards them. So it's easier for them to come into you. All right. But this is this is a lot. I just love this energy. I'm seeing a dark, wet dungeon and a person in um white overalls just just mixing things and the lightning and the thunder. <laughs> just to show like look at the devil energy here. It's just so dark and demonic. This person could be very um reserved, not having any friends over at this point. Really just focused on coming back in to you. They could be going out to meet other people to get remedies or potions so that they can come back in and work in their lab. Like going to get spells or getting some information. But it's not coming from a good, you know, it's not coming from the best source with the devil energy here. We also have the Hierophant card, which is very interesting. Let's see, because the Hierophant coming out... With the devil card, it feels like I hear peace. Hmm. 
peace. As if this person is trying to put up war, put up a fight, and then they're met with, uh, with someone saying peace. But this force is so powerful. This force is not afraid. It's not afraid. It's highly spiritual. It's, it's, um, it knows it's, it's, it's very strong in faith. All right. It, it knows its power. That is this energy, the Hierophant. Okay. But maybe this, this energy the devil is trying to challenge, go toward. It's like two, two tribes or one tribe wanting to go attack another tribe. Oh my God. And then um, this tribe is saying peace first. But they're saying with such faith that they, they know they're only saying peace because they don't want to slay. They really don't have, they just don't want to slay these people. They would prefer to have peace. But there this per here this person goes and I feel like it's they've been warned and they probably did continue to go ahead and get some things, continue working up some potions and they're coming in and, and they're going to like literally br brush off their hands. I don't feel like this person will even shower before. As soon as the potion is ready, they're heading straight to you. They're not going, going to shower and dress up and pretty up to come to you. All right. As soon as that potion is already hot and steaming out of the oven, wherever it is cooked up, they're coming to you because they figured it out now. All right. So they may be coming to you hot and sweaty and a mess. But knowing that they have some potion, I don't know what it's going to be because they just want to come to you. I don't know what you're doing, Cancer, but you are attracting this energy so powerfully. And I feel as if you still hold this person within your intention, as if you expect this person to come into you. Uh, all right, so. And maybe you are waiting for this person to come into you. You're waiting in some way, shape, or form. You're you're holding back from moving forward, maybe in business, in other relationships, in really moving away from the past. Because here this person comes. They just want to appear in front of you as being your option No, to make this offering. But I do feel like this energy with the Two of Cups is different from, is, is different from the Page of Cups energy. The two cups feels so real. It feels it's a feeling that you get when you are in your heart space, when you are in your queen of cups energy, when you're using your intuition, when you're connected to the divine, just when you feel real love. This is the two cups energy. So I feel you're, there's a soulmate out for you, out here for you, a true one, the one that your heart desires. They're here. With the lover's card, even twin flame soulmate, but it's as if this person from your past they want to force themselves to be this to, the soulmate. They're, uh, you know, it, it's that energy they want to be, they want to present as being the one for you. I keep saying that, but watch out because you know what I don't, they're coming with some offer. All right, let's see what else could this person be up to. Angel spirits, guides. Ooh, okay. I feel like what they're coming with me have to do with get throwing you off balance, having to do with your fate, your your new the new story you're writing for yourself. Maybe it will cause you to ooh, you just not be sure of yourself when it comes to your stability financially. And so it is important for you to maintain a connection to your divinity, your true self, your higher self, your higher perspective. To stay connected to your ancestors, your spirits, your guards, your guides, your angels. To trust in your heart space, to to trust in your intuition, and to make decisions based upon your intuition. 
um also to not be afraid with the ace of swords energy because this is your story you are crowned you are chosen and i just feel like you have what it takes to go up against anything that come against you you have the ability to challenge or to stand up for yourself to speak up for what you feel is right what is the ace of swords energy angels grace guides the page of swords amazing so this is fabulous this is gone with the wind fabulous energy i do feel like you're standing in your truth in your power you know who you are be truthful use the word also be um you if you have to learn something um, in uh, that has to do with a legal case legal matters learn more you're going to need you're going to be speaking up and you're going to you're going to need this confidence, this foundation, which is going to require you learning more. That's how I feel. Learning more about laws, regulations, what's right. And it's going to make you appear much more confident. You're not going to be an easy target, you know. Page of Swords. I feel like this is saying good news coming about money. It's the I feel the energy of don't worry. You're going to be okay financially. And it has to do with something that you're working on. But there's a distraction because an offering that's coming from this person that's possibly your past person. This financial offering. But you're this is saying don't worry about your financial stability here. Mm, I feel something is ending. You're learning how to work, how to manifest, how to build momentum, how to not give up, how to find happiness in what you're doing. So you're going to prosper. What is the Two of Cups energy, Angel Spirits Guides? Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> The strength and the ten of cups. So the two of cups is your true heart's desire. It's possibly a connection with a fire sign or a fellow water sign. Leo energy. The two of cups is also saying continue to be determined on your path. To really maintain a spiritual connection with yourself. You're going to be happy when you do this. The two of cups is dreams come true, wishes granted celebrating family happy with your family friends loved ones happy in the the environment you're in new beginnings this could be new love coming into you with the two cups energy this new love could be leo all right so i do want to tell you to use your discernment it could be between uh the devil energy here which is a virgo taurus capricorn which is earth energy and then we have the Hierophant. What is the who, what sign, who or what? Who is the Hierophant energy here? Now it's King of Swords. Who is the Hierophant? If it's a choice between two. Possibly it's probably not a choice between two. Okay. What is the devil energy? Devil energy. The devil energy feels like it feels like um <laughs> there you go. The devil energy it feels like making big huge promises. It's like a sales pitch. Someone is promising you a dream come true. Everything. As if they're just saying it. But it's not real. As if they've created this idea of, yes, it's a good. You know, like a scam. And they're saying, you, you've won millions of dollars. And it's just this, it's so huge. You begin to wonder, how, 
how is all of this possible and, and they're blowing it out of proportion and they're sitting there thinking you're going to believe them or hoping that maybe this person will believe me this scam that I'm running but then you they, they in, in, in some cases they, they have a feeling that you may figure it out but they don't really care this is what they do this feels like a professional a scam who is the devil energy The energy is, we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to get you. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to get you. And so they're making, there's just... <sighs> hmm. I do feel this is spiritual. It's not, uh, it's more spiritual. Spiritual, I, um, what does that mean? It's more spiritual. Okay, I got false illusion and promises of wealth and grandeur. I feel we're about to crack this case, so let's continue. Because let's continue. False, false, false. What did I just say? Some something about grandeur. They fail to. They fail to know who you are, whatever these energies are, to know how powerful <laughs> you are. They see one thing, but they don't see the other side of you. Other messages. It just feels like promises. It feels like a, a scam. Is it a scam? <laughs> I can't. The energy is this. <laughs> the energy is they're trying to scam the high priestess. Like they're saying, high priestess, they're trying to scam you. It's like my, my little, the little watchmen are saying, and it's kind of funny. Like they're coming to tell me, high priestess, they're trying to scam you. You know, but it's kind of funny. Oh my God, I did not expect that. I'm blown away. What did I ask? What did I ask a while ago? I forgot. Oh my gosh. Hey priestess, there's coming to scan. And you see, this is another card of grandeur. The chariot, this is everything. Blessings, angelic guidance, and all of the. What is the chariot energy? This is interesting. The king of wands. Um, because I was saying, I feel like you see, they're trying to scam, like they're saying, oh, they're trying to scam you, high priestess, <laughs> and they're coming appearing as the chariot energy, as flashy, as wealthy. And they think they may be able to fool you. King of Wands. This person could be fire sign. What, what is this cam though? Angel Spirits Guides Ancestors.
okay my battery is low unfortunately this cam i asked the queen of pentacles card what is this cam and i thought it's away from your money i want to know what the results will be <clears throat> the ace of cups and it's always here all right what will the result be <laughs> restoration return all right what the with the star card let's ask what is the star card oh let's see Boop. okay that energy was um what is the star card so maybe something is going to be with all of it let let me tell you what this is <laughs> It feels like this person will meet up on their match. That like a, a big muscular person that will stop them in their tracks. Like for example, a brother. That's the energy. They say, you stole from my sister. Give me everything. And strip them of everything right there on the spot. That's how I feel with this energy. So that's the star card, like restore. That's the restoration. This person will be stripped of everything they've taken from you. And they may be having to face some kind of a fine for that. All right. All right. I don't think they've taken it, but we'll see. Or they were trying to. Any other messages? What's the chariot? Hmm. Prince. Oh my goodness person wants to appear as a prince but they're b-r-o-k-e they're just hustling and trying look see trying to steal they're just trying you know but look at you you are just supremely abundant so amazing you are just a body of heavenly delight so protected let's ask is cancer protected <sighs> what is that energy is cancer protected it feels like it feels like sure what is the six of pentacles is cancer protected hmm what protects cancer Ooh what protects you is what is the ace of pentacles is there's pentacles right when we're talking about protection it's money it's like a wealth vibration and i love seeing it with the high priestess it's like your overall wealthy but your focus is not finances it's your high priestessness your high sense of spirituality in where you sit your queendom your kingdom and how you vibrate I feel like that's what's important to you that's your values you are protected by this the six of Pentacles is a very kind loving energy I like the ones that protect you it feels like older spirits older people who have integrity morals principles that's how I feel what is the six of Pentacles the tower what is the tower energy our energy okay so i'm gonna leave your reading here <clears throat> any last messages for cancers please oh any last messages oh I feel like whoever, whatever, broke your heart, how many times, however many times, I feel like one, it's mainly one person who could make up for this. And you're not asking for, for someone to say, to, for someone to apologize. You're not, I don't feel like you're looking for that anymore. Now you're focusing on grounding in your heart and loving you 
in being firmer for yourself, in seeing where you got hurt and mending that on your own. And this is when a person may return and do what's right by maybe apologizing. Virgo energy, along with the justice. Any last messages for Cancer? So Cancer, I want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming through. I love and respect your energy here on this channel. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope you found messages here that inspire you and is able to help you along your journey. I know it's been quite a long reading, but if you did enjoy it, do go, uh, um, do go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Share the message with those you love. And I'll see you next time. Remember that all is within you. You are all. All of your support is truly appreciated.